pretty good like that. Now our gray just doesn't seem dark enough, so we'll go ahead and darken the gray a little bit. Um, we can actually put a solid black because we have so many lights around, it's kind of reflecting off of those lights. Um, so I want to make sure that we have the shine, but it's not too much. Now the lamp, no, 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 no. All right, so let's undo that. Let's uh, go lock camera to view, make sure that's not checked anymore. Uh, now this is a bit too slanted, I think. So we'll go ahead and set the camera. R, R double tap, no, R double tap, Z. We'll kind of move it a little bit like that because it's too rotated. Um, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to change the scale out some more still. Make it a bit smaller and we'll hit move it around. All right, there we go. So we look pretty good so far. Um, I want, what did I want to do? Oh, yes, the lamp in the back is, is too strong. So we'll grab this guy and we'll turn the size down. Um, and I think uh, I just want a little bit of that on the back, but it's too strong still. So we'll turn the power way down to like somewhere around there, I guess. And now with each of these lamps we have here, I think this is, yeah, that's the one doing it for there, right there. So I want to kind of try and get some of the rim light on some of these areas with, for the for the edge of Pikachu there. So we'll duplicate uh, one of those lamps, put it right there. And I'll try and get these as close to the letters as possible so that they will actually emit that little uh, edge light, which looks nice. And I think I want one up here on the U as well. So we'll have to move it around this way far backwards. Um, that looks good. Maybe it's not close enough. Uh, about maybe about right there. Yeah. So just in a couple of spots, I kind of want to have one of these lamps just emitting the light onto the edges of the word Pikachu. Uh, just G to move it around. Just trying to get the nice place. Um, and I think. I think that's good. Maybe one down here at the bottom of the chew. The bottom of the CU for chew. Pika chew. Be about right there, but just pull it backwards a little bit. Don't want it to be too harsh. You don't want it to be too harsh because then it'll start looking weird. Um, yeah, okay, that's good right there. So that looks pretty sweet. Now we have something that looks like this right now, which is looking pretty good. We can do a couple more things. We have these little lines in the insides of the P, um, which we might do. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but let's go ahead and, and real quick, if I turn Bloom on, you can see we have some pretty nice stuff. Let's go ahead and turn the intensity up, the radius down a little bit, and the threshold down as well. You can see we have some pretty cool looking stuff. Um, the knee we can also turn. We can turn the knee down. Um, so it looks, it looks pretty good so far. It looks uh, pretty pretty similar. We'll go ahead and turn that off for the time being. I like it without the bloom. It looks really nice and clean and sharp. I love it. Um, so we can go ahead and do the word Pokemon. Let's do the word Pokemon. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and we can go out of render for the time being. We can go to material if you want. That's pretty good. Ooh, that looks really good. Oh, yes. I love the way that looks. Um, so we're going to shift A. We'll turn our, our objects back on. Um, we'll hit shift A and we'll add in a text. And this text will be RX90. Hit G to move it on up. Now that text looks terrible next to this. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to the, the font tab once again. Go to regular and change our font in this to Pokemon Solid. And now you can see where we're going with this. Hit tab to go into edit mode. We'll just type in Pokemon. We don't have the little dash over top of the... We're going to have to... Uh, every other letter looks like it's capitalized. So we'll do the M, O, and the N. Now the O and stuff, we're not going to have all those indents in there. We could do that if you really wanted to. You can go ahead and just erase some of those edges, but I will space out some of these letters here. I don't want them to be touching that much. See, this is what they did for the, you know what? You know what? I'm going to do it anyway. Dog on it. See, <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and do it. We'll, go, we'll do it. We'll do it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. We'll go to the extrude value. Actually, we won't extrude it at all. We don't, need, we don't need to extrude this. So we'll just go ahead and go to horizontal paragraph alignment. We'll align it to the center. Um, and I want to go ahead and it's kind of arced in the center, if you can't tell. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to break the word at the word mon, right, at the letters mon. So we'll hit shift D to duplicate it. And then on one of those, we'll go in the tab, hit edit, uh, and then we'll just delete everything that says mon. So we'll leave poke. And then on the second one, we will delete everything except for mon. So like that. So now those are separate. And then we can go ahead and arc it by hooding, uh, um, uh, RY and then rotating and then RY and rotating. So a little bit of an arc on there, which looks pretty good. 
and then we'll move the mon down a little bit and into the E um, maybe a little bit more of an arc something like that maybe and the in I think is too low so we'll duplicate the word mon uh, right click to cancel the movement delete the delete the letter in and then M E for the other one M O for the other one sorry and then we'll just raise it up a little bit and scale it down because it's kind of big as well so we'll move all those together and then back where they belong so now it looks pretty good um, I want to move the O more into the in more and in more into the O and I think it looks good now for the indents you can see the word um, it kind of has those little those little crater pieces right there where it's not showing um, for these pieces we can do this many 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 different ways but I want to go ahead and select all of these and then go to object um, uh, convert to mesh surf uh, text actually let's do this first let's select just the word poke and then we'll do this convert uh, mesh now you see we have some problems here let's go ahead actually let's undo that because the reason we're having problems is because these are all intersecting and it doesn't look right so we'll go ahead and go to convert and it'll still do the same thing if we do it this way so we're gonna have to actually uh, get rid of if I do it this way it shouldn't do it anymore uh, it's gonna still anyway okay so let's do this all right let's add a little bit of thickness to it so if we do that it won't do it anymore if we add just like a point zero zero one to the thickness it won't give us uh, problems like that so we'll go ahead and do that uh, just the extrude value in the text uh, tab here so we'll go ahead and zero uh, point point zero zero one and it just has a little bit of thickness so it won't do that anymore and the same thing for the end point uh, zero zero one. There we go. All right. So now with all of these, we can we can go and do this, and it should work fine. Convert to mesh. Sir, woo. Okay. Well, it's still not. What? What? I think it's not thick enough. Let's see if we do it now. Some fonts uh, that you use will just always do this because the mesh is just so messed up. Yes. Yeah, see, the mesh is just so messed up. So if I go ahead and I let's. See, let's do this. Let's do it like this. Um, quick effects, and then we'll just go. Uh, see, it won't do it if they're if they're touching. See, if they're touching, then it's going to be a problem. So it doesn't know what to do with the geometry because they're touching each other. So let's go ahead and we will get rid of the K, and we'll just kind of put a space between that. So we'll go ahead and uh, convert to mesh surf meta surf text. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then we'll select. The MO will duplicate that. Hit Shift D, rotate a little bit, delete both of those, add in a add in a capital K, a capital K, and then we will object convert to mesh surf, uh, text, and then we'll just put that back where it belongs because Blender doesn't like working well with things that don't work well with it. So we'll turn on the transparent scene thing, and then we'll duplicate our word P O E, and then we'll right click to cancel the movement. Uh, G. Actually, we can we can undo the. Yeah, let's do that instead. Let's undo. We don't need the thickness on that anymore. That wasn't the problem. So we'll go ahead and turn the extrude value down for all of these once again, so they're flat because we don't need any other extra vertices that we don't actually need. So let's go ahead and get rid of the E altogether, and then we'll just do the E separately. So we have P O. Then we can do K capital. Then we can duplicate again, and then we'll do E. All right. So now. Uh, we have all the things that we're going to need. They're not in the same plane, but that they're not in the same position, but that's fine. Um, now, so for the PO, we'll once again uh, convert to mesh surf text, then object set origin center volume. No, center of mass volume. Okay, wait, oh, wait, I, I know I'm doing that. Okay, uh, we need to go ahead and we'll do this by hand. We'll go into tab edit mode, and we'll just hit G, move them down to the place where it belongs in the first place, um, and we'll move it up. Uh, with the same thing for the K, so convert to mesh and then double tap everything in, in edit mode by hitting tab, G, move it down to about the center, then move it to where it's supposed to go. Um, and then the K is kind of insane, so let's actually grab that vertice and pull it, no, pull it up and then pull that one back as well. It's kind of crazy. Uh, it doesn't really look like that in that, that font Pokemon, Pokemon, so go ahead and move that around until it's about the same, and this needs to be down more as well. See, this is the problem Blender was having because it has extremely strange vertices like this, um, and we didn't fix the vertices. But that's fine because we can just get around it by doing this, um, and I'll kind of do something like... Uh 